Hello everybody and welcome to Assignment R. This is going to be uh, this is just the front page of Assignment R, the page 189. And we are asked to find the measure of each numbered angle. Okay, well, uh, first one, number one here, triangle MNP. We need to find the measure of angle one. And we know that all the angles of a triangle must add up to 180. So in order to find angle 1, we need to take 180 and subtract angle 62 and angle 90. And we will find that 180 minus 62 minus 90 is 28. So the measure of angle 1 is 28. Okay, number 2 here, let's look, we have an isosceles triangle. That's not noted here, but the little notation means this angle is 30 as well. So to find the measure of angle 1, it'll be 180 degrees minus the other two 30s. 180 minus 30 minus 30, and that gives us 120 degrees. Okay. For number 3, uh, I've got a couple of angles to find here. Angles 1 and angle 2. And we know that this angle right here with the uh, right angle notation, 90 degrees, it is like that on the other side. So we can put a notation there. And for angle 1, we know uh, that we got 60 and we have 90 as well. So 180 minus 60 minus 90 equals 30. That's the measure of angle 1. Looking at the other angle, um, ang angle 2, I know this is 90, I know this is 30, so I can subtract those from the total of 180. Minus 90, minus 30, and that equals 60 degrees. There you go. Okay, number 4. Uh, we have two different uh, triangles here. They're both adding up to 180. The measure of angle 1 is going to be 180 minus 66 minus 58. The measure of angle 2 is going to be 180 minus 50 minus 3 minus the measure of angle 3. Um, so we have a little bit of work here to do. Let's focus on angle 1 first. Measure of angle 1. See 180 minus 58 and minus 66. That's going to give us 56 degrees. Now, I know the measure of angle 2 by the definition of vertical angles. Angle 2 is also 56. See there are vertical angles right there. We're just leaving us with angle 3. I'll have to take 180 minus 50 minus this 56. And if you do the math, it comes out to 74 degrees. And there's the measure of all three angles for number 4. Number 5. We have two angles to find, angles 1 and 2. Now we know that we have 90 degrees here at this W. It's also 90 on the other side. Uh, for angle 1, it's going to be 180 minus 60 minus the 90. So 180 minus 60 minus 90 gives us 30. For angle 2, It's going to be 90 and 30, and we need to subtract that from 180. So 180 minus 90 minus 30 gives us 60. All right, last one here, number 6. <coughs> we have 152 degrees for this obtuse triangle. We have 20 degrees here. 152 plus 20 plus whatever this is should equal 180, so we can subtract. Measure of angle 1 is going to be 180 minus 152 minus the 20, and that gives us 8 degrees. There you go.